All right, welcome to my Cisco's Scaling Network Lab Review. We're doing Lab 5157, Configuring OSPF Advanced Features. So first thing we want to do is let's go ahead and ping uh, different PCs to make sure everything is working. So I'm on PC1. I want to ping PC2, 132.16.2.2. First, I'm expecting a timeout. This is normal. Alright, there it goes. Next, I'm going to ping PC3. 192.168.1.2. Again, I'm expecting the first one to time out. That's normal. And there it goes. Alright, so step one's out of the way. Let's go on to step two. Let's hop on R1. Get to our CLI. Get to our global config mode. Let's go ahead, we're going to be manipulating our hello and dead timers. So, we're going to be doing this on interface serial 0. We want IP, OSPF, hello intervals to set to 15, OSP, OSPF, dead intervals, we're going to set to 60. So, 2A is done. After a short period of time, OSPF connection with R2 will fail. Both sides of the connections need to have the same timers. So we're going to give it a few seconds so that we can see that our adjacency to R2 will uh, die. There it goes. So let's go ahead and fix that by going over to R2. We're going to be doing 0000. zero, zero, zero. Enable, get into our global configuration mode. Interface 000. zero, zero. We are manipulating the IP OSPF. Hello intervals 15. IP OSPF. Dead intervals 16. I'm already doing that on this link here so it should rebuild so while we're waiting for that to happen I'm going to hop back over to R1 I'm going to start looking through the instructions for part 3 trace the path between PC1 and the web server Alright, there we go. The adjacency is now up and running. Trace route, we're going to be tracing it 64101.2. It should be routed through R2, so it should go R1, R2, internet web server, that's what it did. So let's go ahead, let's manipulate bandwidth on R1 serial zero interface. Bandwidth, everything is measured in kilobytes, so there we go. I'm going to give it a second. We're going to go back to PC1. Let's go ahead and retrace route it. Now you'll notice here, it took a different route. It went R1, R3, R2 internet. More hops. That's because OSPF does use path costs. And right here, there's now a 64 kilobit connection. So it was a slow connection. So let's go ahead. Lastly, let's set up OSPF authentication on the routers. That's always good to verify that we are making sure everything is authenticated. Alright, so we want 
router OSPF. We're doing OSPF version 1, or not version, but process ID 1. We want area 0 authentication message digest. All right. Now let's go ahead and go to our interface 000 IP OSPF message key 1. We're doing MD5. Here's the passphrase R1 hyphen R2. This is the passphrase. So after the dead timer interval expires, the adjacency will be lost. Repeat the authentication command. So there it goes. It's down because we're requesting authentication on R1, but we didn't set it up on R2. Let's go ahead and opt R2. And let's go ahead and fix that. Router OSPF 1. What we want to do is area 0 authentication message digest. Yep. Interface serial 0, zero, zero. We want IP OSPF message key 1 MD5. We want it R1 hyphen R2. Now, the link between R1 and R2 has the same key, our authentication key, so it should go back to full. There it goes. So, repeat the authentication on R2. Use the following command to configure authentication on R1 for the links is shared with R3. Nope, it's still not loading GS quite yet. It was loaded to full, but now between R2 and R3, it's still not populating. So we're going to do R1 to R3 now. Interface 000, sorry, 001. We already did the, already turned on authentication. So all we have to do is the individual interfaces. So OSPF, message key, 1, MD5, R1 to R3. We're going to hop on R3, get its global config mode. We're going to go ahead and go router OSPF1. We need to turn on authentication, so area 0, authentication, message digest, all right. So what I want to do is make sure it's a serial zeros between R1 and R3. Interface 000 IP OSPF message key 1 MD 5 and what we want from there is R1 to R3. We also want to make sure to do interface serial 0 slash 0 dot 1 IP OSPF message key 1 and B5 we're doing R3 sorry R2 R3 and so we've done authentication here we've done authentication here we've done authentication on this side lastly is to finish R2 interface serial 001 from there, we're going to do IP OSPF, message key 1 MD5, R2 hyphen R3. 
and give it a few seconds and everything should load to full. Alright, so I'm going to hop on R1. I'm going to do a show IP OSPF interface and we should be able to see all the appropriate process IDs authentication and all of that good stuff. Alright, so that's this lab in a nutshell. Let's go ahead and check results. Alright, assessment items, everything is checked. If you need any help, let me know. Have a good day.